Hello people, how are you? In this video, we want to look at Trichuris trichiura. Okay, we want, what do we want to look at? Trichuris trichiura. Right? So, what is this? This is a nematode. It's a helminth. It's a nematode. You already know the classification in parasitology, don't you? Right. So, we are looking at this worm which is called as whip worm. It looks like a whip. Right? You know, a whip. Yes, it looks like a whip. Look at the male worm. It looks exactly like a whip. Right? Today's topic is what? Trichuris trichiura. Okay, please learn the spelling correctly. You will be able to write better in the exam. Trichuris trichiura. Okay. Now, this is actually like hair, it seems. That's why they thought it's like, they named it like Trichuris trichiura. But actually, uh, if you see, this is more like a whip. And actually, you can see the anterior end of the worm is like a, um, what is it? What did we say? Hair. Anterior end is like a hair. The, Whatever you're seeing, thin mana, that is the anterior end actually. That is what it pokes into the large intestine and uh, stays there. It attaches itself to the large intestine because of this hair kind of a thing, which is the anterior part, okay? So, why it is called Trichuris trichiura, you have understood. Its actual name is whipworm. So, this whipworm uh, infection is very common, okay? A lot of people are infected with the whipworm infection. They're, they are infected or infest, they, they have infestation of whipworm, but this does not turn into disease in everybody, okay? It is usually asymptomatic. It becomes a disease in some people, okay? Where is the habit of this trichuris trichiura? It's the large intestine, okay? So, basically, what are the other uh, uh, worms, you know, that live in large intestine? Yes, it is the enterobius vermicularis. Very good. That is also a nematode, right? So, basically, the habitat is the large intestine for uh, trichuris trichiura, the adult worms are found attached to the wall of the cecum. So, basically, if you go to the cecum and see, these worms may be attached to them. Okay. Moving on. The natural host is man. There is no intermediate host. Okay. The natural host is man and there is no intermediate host. So, guys, we are now moving to the life cycle of uh, Trichuris trichiura. The infective form is the embryonated egg containing the rab D T form larva. Rab D T form larva. Remember, you should write the spelling correctly in the exam. Rab D T form larva. Basically, this embryonated egg containing rab D T form larva, same infective form is there even in Ascaris and Entrobius vermicularis, if you remember. All these are nematodes. They are helminths. Under helminths, they are nematodes. So, basically, now let's move on to the life cycle of Trichuris trichiura. Okay. Guys, are you okay now? Shall we move on? So, what are we discussing today? Today we are discussing whipworm. Something like this you will draw in the exam. Okay. Whipworm. Okay. Let's look at the life cycle now. So, basically, let's start with the man. How the man got infected. See, here is a man, he is ingesting some contaminated food, water, which is containing this embryonated egg with rab D T form larva of the trichuris uh, trichiura. Okay. So, now what happens? This embryonated egg goes to the small intestine, right? And in the small intestine, what happens? The larva is released from this embryonated egg. Now, the larva gets released from one of the poles. From one of the poles of this embryonated egg, the larva gets released. Okay. Now, this larva, where is it released? In the small intestine. Now, from the small intestine, this larva goes to the cecum. Okay. This is the cecum. It is going to the cecum. Here, it matures into adult worm. And these worms, actually, they, the hair-like anterior part, you know, that projection, it pokes into the cecum and it attaches itself and they live there. Okay. Then what happens? So far so good. You understood that this man is consuming something which is infected. From here it goes to his uh, small intestine. In his small intestine the larva comes out. Then it goes to the cecum. And in the cecum it is going and attaching. Right. So this much you have understood. Now what happens? The adult worm. Uh, there are worms here, male worm and female worm. You can see the male looks like a whip. The posterior end looks like a whip of a male. Anterior end is actually the uh, hair-like thing which is using to attach to the cecum. So, this is the whip worm, Trichuris trichiura. Okay. This is the male and this is the female. Female is slightly large. Now, these mate and the gravid female releases the eggs. 
Now the eggs are passed in the feces. Now how are these eggs? Look at the eggs now. The eggs are barrel shaped. You can see the egg. It is barrel shaped. It is bile stained. It is having triple shell. You can see there are three layers here. Triple shell. There are, it is triple shell. It floats in saturated salt solution. And then it has projecting mucus plugs at each pole. These mucus plugs don't pick up any stain. And it contains an unsegmented ovum. So what are the features of the eggs of Trichuris trichiura? The eggs are barrel shaped. They are bile stained. They float in saturated salt solution. They have triple shell. Projecting mucus plug at each pole. The mucus plugs are not stained. They contain the unsegmented ovum. So all this you will have to note in lab diagnosis in the stool examination. If you have to describe a egg of Trichuris trichiura, you will have to explain all this. Okay. Now this enters this feces, enters the soil. There is contamination. Some vegetables, fruits, something gets contaminated. And this person is going to either drink the water that is contaminated or he is going to ingest this uh, uh, egg okay basically this egg is not infective but he if he infect if he takes in this embryonated egg which has actually this has happened in the soil in this soil this normal egg okay has got converted into this embryonated egg with rabditi form larva so this is the infective form so if he ingests anything that contains this rabditi form larva uh, that is the embryonated egg if he consumes then if it goes to small intestine there it will be released there the larva will come out go to the cecum and live there mostly it will be asymptomatic in very few people it can become a whipworm disease so did you understand the life cycle is it uh, totally clear man is ingesting this rabidity form larva it goes to small intestine from there it, the larva hatches it goes to large intestine in the cecum it will live then the adult worms are developed which are going to copulate they are going to the gravid female is going to release the egg the egg is going to become rabidity form larva it is going to mold it is going to uh, rabidity form larva is going to form within this egg embryonated egg is the infective form okay so let's move on pathogenicity actually you can write here that it's asymptomatic right mostly asymptomatic Actually, this uh, this condition of having this uh, trichuris trichiura infection is tri trichocephaliasis. Trichocephaliasis is the name of the condition. So, as these worms will attach to the cecum, there can be slight blood loss, which can lead to anemia. There can be malnutrition because of malabsorption. This can hit the appendix and the cause acute appendicitis. Now there can be mucus, diarrhea, dysentery can be there. That means bloody, watery stools, right? That will be dysentery. Abdominal pain will be there. Weight loss because of all this malnutrition, malabsorption. Rectal prolapse may happen in young children, okay? Rectal prolapse also may happen in young children. So this is the pathogenicity of what? Trichuris trichiura. The diagnosis, guys, uh, basically you will find these eggs in the stool, then if you do sigmoidoscopy, that is go through sigmoid colon and go there and you will see worms hanging from the rectal mucosa. Wow, that is like a horror show. So if you uh, scope, if you scope the sigmoid, sigmoid colon, you might find these worms hanging from rectal mucosa. Treatment is uh, standard uh, anti-helminth drugs like mebendazole, alvendazole. Okay. So that is all for now in uh, trichuris, trichiura, whipworm. So basically it is a nematode, helminth. It's called whipworm. It inhabits the large intestine, especially the cecum. Then natural host is man. Infective form is embryonated eggs containing rab DT form larva. There is no intermediate host. This is the life cycle which you will have to draw. See, basically in the exam, though, they'll ask of life cycle so that you can draw of morphology and explain everything. Okay, and when they ask life cycle, you should write pathogenicity also. Diagnosis, you can write easily. Examination of stool, sigmoidoscopy, right? Two important words here. Stool examination, sigmoidoscopy. Treatment is standard anti-helminth drugs, mebendazole, albendazole. Okay. 
So that's all for now, guys. We will meet you in the next video. Come back for uh, next video. Bye-bye.